Jesus does not give grace to live however you want. Jesus died to help you to defeat sin. Grace is a gift from God. See Ephesians 2, 8 to 10. And look at the last part. God will indeed punish those who abuse His grace. So be very, very careful that you understand this. His grace is only for those who love Him sincerely and obey Him, and God gives them grace. Why would Jesus die then? It doesn't make any sense, right? If we can live however we want, it doesn't make any sense, right? Jesus willingly died. God died for you. He didn't have to die, you know. He chose to die it. Right? He chose to die for you. So, there must be a purpose, right? The purpose is to live righteously, not to live however you want. So, again, those who abuse God's grace will be punished. So, let's read James 2.26. For as the body without spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. John 14, 15. If you love me, keep my commands. Right? So, this is all pointing to you that it's not just enough to believe, right? There is works to follow and the works will be the ones who determine afterwards if you really love God, right? And God will make sure if you're worthy or not. Because God didn't die just so you live however you want. I hear so many wrong preachings. I just wanted to warn you. Let's read Ephesians 2. 8 to 10. For by grace you, you have been saved, right? Right? It says there. Not of ourselves. Okay. It is gift from God. Not of works. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Okay, lest any man shall go. Amen. For we are his worksmanship. Created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God has before ordained that we should walk in them. Okay? So we need to follow. Let's read 1 Peter 2.24. Who his own self bear our sins in his own body on a tree, that we being dead to sin should live unto righteousness, by whose strips you were healed. See? That's the purpose. He died on the cross that we live righteously. Not just however you want. So let's make sure we obey it. Let's read Ephesians 6, 24. Grace be with all them that love our Lord Jesus Christ in sincerity. Amen. See the keys. Grace be with all of them that love our Lord Jesus Christ in sincerity. Amen. So if you're willing to follow him, you love him, and you let him discipline you, take care of you, mold you in a, you know, more godly person, that's amazing. Then you have the grace. If you don't have a willing heart, I ask God, but that's already a willing, willing um, gesture to ask, right? It's a good step. Hebrews 10, 26, 32, 4. If we sin willingly, right? If we sin willingly, after that we have received the knowledge of truth, there remains no more sacrifice for sins, but a certain fearful looking for judgment and fiery indignation, which shall devour the adversaries. He that despises Moses' law die without mercy unto two or three witnesses. Oh, how much sore punishment should be, shall he be through a worthy who has trodden under foot the Son of God and has counted the blood of the covenant wherewith he was sanctified an unholy thing and has done despite unto the Spirit of God. For we know him that has said, Vengeance belongs unto me, I will recompense says the Lord, and again the Lord shall judge his people. It is fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God, but call to remember the former things, in which, in which after 
you were illuminated. You endured a great fight of affliction. So here he's saying that, yes, if you abuse God's grace, it, it's horrible and you will be really punished. So you just have to make sure that you live um, how God wants you to live. Because this is very, very serious. Because you are tripling Son of God under foot, right? You don't appreciate His uh, his sacrifice, and then he's trying to change you, and you have experienced his goodness, and then you just turn away from him. That how? What is this, right? This is not following God. So God doesn't like that. So, all, so remember, all those who abuse grace, there's gonna be time God will turn away from you. Okay. Enough is enough, right? How long can you do that? So, be careful how you live. Do take care of your souls. God loves you. That's why he's warning you. And I love you very much. God bless. Bye.